Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. We've got a major news story that broke yesterday about the solar storm this past week, and it is not good news. We have other solar and geomagnetic studies to cover today, and of course, we're starting with space weather and the last 24 hours on our star. Not exactly quiet had eruptive events go off the southern incoming limb, filament released north of the coronal hole, and an M-class solar flare top right from the now departed sunspot group. Nothing more has been launched our way, but what was launched our way is arriving this morning. Solar wind here showing the minor impact we did already expect today, a combination of the glancing blow CME component and the northern coronal hole stream. Geomagnetic conditions are unsettled this morning, but still short of storm levels. First in the articles today, revisiting something we've seen in various parts of the United States, England, Australia, and New Zealand. The Alberta solar storm risk is an amplified combination of its high geomagnetic latitude, the local geology, and the technological infrastructure and power system layout being favorable for induction. It is all three of these that determine where the strongest geoelectric currents are going to be found impacting our technology. More on those currents in just a moment. But next up in the articles is this. It is in Spanish, but it's 2025. Most of you should know how to translate a paper online by now. It is only the 10th publication I can recall confirming the relationship between solar storms and workplace accidents, occupational hazards due to human error. But all 10, including this one, have been extremely well put together and none have been challenged in the journals. Of course, we've seen many, many papers on solar storms and earthquakes, but sometimes the magnetic anomalies occur during solar quiet times. If that's the case, it's usually going to be a magnitude 7 or higher. Powerful solar storm level disruption, except locally, with no solar storm globally, and right where the earthquake is about to happen. Last but not least, Saw someone post the CNN article yesterday making a big claim, and I knew just where to go look. British Geological Survey, and oh dear, it's real. Local conditions hit KP9 at high latitude this last week, with the strongest geoelectric current ever recorded at Shetland. While the data only goes back to 2012, that means the solar storm this past week induced stronger currents than the 2012, 2015, 2017, and even last year's May 2024 solar superstorm. Uh, no. That's never going to happen in a million years unless our magnetic field is tanking hard and fast. Then again, this is what you've been expecting, right? Without these forecasted accelerations, we wouldn't be getting the pole shift till the 2070s, but we've got them. And they are getting worse. Folks, we've only got a few events left in the year at Observer Ranch, mostly fun family events, but those are also when you guys get the most one-on-one -on -one time asking questions and hanging out. Tickets are about half gone for our major event next year. Roger Cunningham, ethical skeptic, and I are going to come together to drill down the pole shift details over five days. It's on sale before everything else going on next year because in the next couple of months, you might find it's harder than you might expect to get tickets to the ranch. I want the OGs here now to get their shot. Textbook PDF link is below as well, and so is the link to come to one of our winter tour events. First one, just 13 days away in Omaha, Nebraska. The only central states location in the group, by the way. ObserverRanch.com to come see us. Links to all of the rest are right down there below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.